Better last week. That'll help.
Maker's End. Not much farther now. Bolin said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Noraland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Mega's end is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Who is he, and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? for later. Stay low, girl, or you'll spoil the fun. Fun? Everyone has their reasons. Maybe you kill because you're compelled. I understand. Had a partner who'd weep at the feel of an arrow striking home. While we hunted the bandit scum, his eyes were never dry. Then you're a manhunter. Some kind of mercenary? Call me now. I found where there is strife, there's bandits. Picking the bones of the innocent. Then, whoever they can catch, then each other. But why wait? You and I could work together. Kill them all. What do you say? I don't know you. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, a concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? Of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from me. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Save screaming a while. Go ahead and take the lead. 
I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Quick way down. It'll take forever to dry. What
You hear that? Story said, patience. Their alarm signal. Better keep them off it. Bandits brought their prisoners here. Something up there. Incoming. Together, you sawed off!
something. Hard work never hurt anyone. You can see With them. Those bandits they gone. Can't see you. We can live here in peace. Life. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it in my own eyes. Off you go. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath, then let it out. Ugh, I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. That's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? Oh, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. 
But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them. We're standing. They're not. Clearly, we were better. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our work.
said it would be. It's not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. Wait! more. ruins. What do the old ones do here?
to get it moving. And be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this is to be one of the Deathbringers Olin talked about. What do you think? I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first.
giving up. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Did it. Those things pack a punch. All right. The Eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Let's see what you have to say. What? What is this? The entity. Unacceptable. 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 Uh. What the hell was that? Hades? Hey! M mysterious stranger, did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. It's tight, but I can squeeze through. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000? That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. 
A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 humans... What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Even old death. Nothing natural. And I'll cave in. But I could get through. I'll bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Like I can climb here. like the way up. What's left of it? <laughs> It'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too.
since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts team or energy combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Should have brought a cart. Forget about traveling light. Yeah. <laughs> 
few good handholds. All right, made it. Team, Ted. No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch. Line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another fire has been recovered. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Any rule? Blood stays Keep on working the inside. It, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fire has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? 
Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift open. <laughs> this... this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... Life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. 
So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn.
that does it. Time to take a look around the room. locks it down. We engage, sever the lens, blast out the fountains. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's Heart, I guess. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. What was this? It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. The were they were still metal. printing barracks right up until the yeah, hour the main force hit. The it Minutemen? The metal world. We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Hmm. Just one bed. Maybe the war chief's room. light. I guess that means no power. I haven't seen one of the... seen one of these since I was a little kid. It must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Oh, that's informative. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? 
goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. These wires must run to the power source. Power lines, resources, that makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Thank you. 
hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech, now did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech, now did you? As usual, I defy expectations. <laughs> Infidel.
No ammo. This isn't good. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Never know when I might need these.
Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Can't have it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. <sighs> All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again.
your infantry is gone. You're in for a treat. It's quite a show.